The sikh we will be learning is in Chedek Chavdalet. That's the first sikh for Parshas of Aschanan. The beginning of the Parsha talks about Meshur Rabbeinu asking Hashem to allow him to go to Eretz Yisrael because before we learned that because of the sin, so to speak, of May Meriva, David has said that you will not go into Eretz Yisrael. And now Meshur Rabbeinu was asking Hashem that he should go, he should be able to go to Eretz Yisrael. The parsha starts with the words "Vaschanan al Hashem beisahilaymer," which means the teichon of the words. The words itself we're going to see soon, but the teichon, the general meaning, is that I was asking Hashem, and it goes into saying, "Since you showed me already greatness, I would like to ask you to let me in, to let me go into the throne." The Rebbe answered that you can't. So the Rebbe says like this: "If the Rasholas has said there was Hanan al Hashem concerning the beginning of the parsha, the Seder, where it says "Vaschanan al Hashem," what is the meaning of the words "Vaschanan al Hashem"?" The Teichon, we know it means Mesh is asking Hashem, and as he continues, please let me go into Eretz Yisrael. But what do the what does the word Vo'eschanan al Hashem mean? Then Gebracht in Sifri Tzvaydeya. So in Sifri, there are two opinions what the word Vo'eschanan means. And actually, the Rebbe says, no, I want that this is brought down in Russia. The two opinions are in Russia also, with a little some changes there. But basically, Russia says the same thing as the Sifri. Two days, he has two opinions what the word Vo'eschanan means. Number one, as Vashanan is Veloshin Chinam. The word Vashanan comes from the word Chinam. Chinam, which means Chinam means for free, for no reason. You don't deserve it. And as the Rebbe will explain soon, the Mephorshim say that the word Vashanan, the Langanun, is in place of a Shlosmem. Sometimes it's exchanges. A Langanun, the Shlosmem is exchanged. So when it says Vashanan, it's as if it would say Vashanam. And the word Vashanam means Chinam, the word Ches Nun. Mem is chinam, so it's from the lotion of chinam. Does haze, which means Meish Rabbi not gebeten by Meish Meish Rabbi not asked Hashem as a zolim lozna langen in Eretz Yisrael as matnas chinam. We should allow him to go to Eretz Yisrael as a present for free, which means not because I deserve it, but please, please, even though I don't deserve it, so that means I don't, I can't claim it because I deserve it. You owe it to me, but I'm asking you for chinam, like it's doke. Ask me to do it. Falafa pi. Because even though tzadikim or yechayin little is masay matayim tzadikim, the lotion the word tzadikim is lit in Russia. The Rebbe says, but the Medrash says a different lotion says meishiv and dovet. But the idea is the same that even though the tzadikim could be tailor, could connect their asking for Hashem helping them, but masay matayim for their good deeds, they says I deserve it. I'm asking you to give me so and so because I deserve it. Nevertheless, for like and amokim shitem lehem elochinam, they nevertheless will not ask from Hashem. Only that you should give it to free. They're not asking because they deserve it and they're asking because they have to get it. You owe it to me, but they're asking for Matnas Chinam. You see the word Vile, the Vov is in parentheses because the Loshan there is with the Vov, but Lagaba the Teichon, the way the Rebbe wants to bring it, it's not Nigay that Vov. The Ikir is that they could ask for because they deserve it, but they nevertheless ask Chinam. So what does the word Vashanan mean? Vashanan means asking for free, asking to give me something for free, do me a favor. Second shot is no Vashanan is ain't from the Asar Lashana Shiltfila. That Vashanan is one of the expressions of Davening. It says that there are ten words that for Davening. Sometimes we use the word fila, we use other words. So one of the ways of the words Lashanas of Davening is Vashanan. So according to the second shot, what does Vashanan mean? I davened. Vashanan al Hashem al Davan to Hashem. And what was he davening for? That Hashem should let him go into Eretz Yisrael. So the first pshat is that Vashanan is not Loshan Tefillah. It's not, it's not another title for davening. But what it means is he was asking for Chinam. Now the fact that he was asking for something, obviously that's what he's doing. You look at the parasha, he's asking for Hashem to do something for him, to let him into Eretz Yisrael. But the word Vashanan doesn't mean I davened. That's the first day. Vashanan means I'm asking Chinam. The word Vashanan has nothing to do with the word davening. It has to do with the word Chinam. He's asking for a matnas chinam. And the second shot is a different shot. That Vashanan is one of the expressions of tefillah, which means he says, Vashanan al Hashem, I daven to Hashem. That's the way it's written in Sifri. A medrash rabbi from Posik, where Nehri brach the inyonim, a medrash rabbi, a medrash, on the same Posik, it also brings these two inyonim, as Vashanan, that Vashanan is for the Asara, the Shayna Shal Tfilah, Vashanan is one of the ten expressions that you use for davening. And the second thing I do is Moloshim Matna Schinim, it also means that it's from the expressions of asking for a present, something that you don't deserve. Of a Nita Al Tzvei Deyes, there is not two opinions. Nor Al Tzainu, there's Elba Pirish. In one Pirish, in one Pshat, 
For themselves, man, the same person says, puts them two together as one. This is the, what the Medrash says. Omer Rabbi Eichanan. And it's important to know the name because we'll see, from the name, we'll see that it's the two Pirushim go together. Rabbi Eichanan said, Asar Eloshen is Nikras Tefillah. Davening has ten expressions. Etc. The Tachnunim. And one of the expressions is Tachnunim. That's another expression for davening. The Ksivan, it says, like, and it calls the post, it was Hanan al Hashem. I daven to Hashem. So here we see that Vashanan, Rabbi Yechana says, is an expression meaning I daven. And from all the expressions that could have been used for davening, he uses the word Vashanan because Tachnunim is Malosh and Daven. So, so far, he's going with the Loshan that this is one of the expressions of davening. Then Omer Rabbi Yechanan, the same Rabbi Yechanan continued and he said, From here we see, Shein Leberi Klumets Albeire. That no creature has any claims that he could claim from the Abishta to the from the Creator. You see, Mesh Rabbeinu came with a Loshan Tachnunim. So it means that the Loshan Tachnunim is a Loshan of Chinom. Because he learns that from the fact that Mesha used this Loshan means that he asked for a Matnas Chinom. So from here we see that you can't, no matter what you think you are, you can't ask on the Abishta for anything. You can't claim it that it's owed to you. Only Matas Chinam. So says it means that the Loshin Tachnunim was Chanan, but Tzitzich of Atfila, but Kosher was Membet with Matas Chinam. So we see from here that the word was Chanan is a Loshin, he holds it's a Loshin Tfila, but it's a Loshin Tfila that is when you ask Hashem for a Matas Chinam. The Baldas Ain Lebed, the Klumets of Beda. No creature could ask from Hashem that you, you owe it to him. So here we see that he puts the two together. It's not, he says it's a Loshin Tfila, but it's a Loshin Tfila. That you use because you're asking for a matnas chino. When we Rablevi is aglayf the noch, and Rablevi says right after that, what does Rablevi say? Why did Meisha come with this lotion of davening, with the using the term tachnunim, which is voeschanan? The matnas chino maniaisimi because he's doing a matnas chino, and Rablevi, as the Rebbe says, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say Omer Rablevi. If we say Omer Rablevi, it could mean that he's arguing. Because when that's the cloud, whenever it says Omar certain so and so, it means that he's not arguing. But it would say if it would be arguing, it would have said Reblevi Omar. It says Omar Reblevi. The Omar Reblevi means it's a hemshek, so it's not arguing. So when Reblevi says that he used Loshin Tachnuni because it is a Matnas Chinam, so he's saying he used the Loshin of Tfila with a Loshin of Eschanan because it means Matnas Chinam. So here we see clearly that it's both together, that this from the Medrash that. Both in Yonim are together. It's one shot. It's a lotion filo, but the lotion filo is a lotion that tells you that you're asking for a matan skin. So you have to understand. What's the argument here between the Sifri and the Medrash? If it's two separate Pirushim or not. According to the Sifri, he's saying two separate Pirushim. One is it's a lotion filo finished. Another one, it's, a, it's not a lotion filo. It means he's asking. It's not davening. It's asking for a matan skin of two Pirushim. According to the Medrash, it goes together. It's a Loshan Tefillah, which is davening. It's a Loshan of davening, asking for a Matnas Chinam. So there's a Machlekes here. What's the Swara of the Machlekes? So what they're going to do is to explain. First, let's understand what's the Pshat in the Sifri. That there are two separate opinions. One opinion is that it's Matnas Chinam, and one opinion is that it's a Loshan Tefillah. Two what's the Pshat that there are two separate in Yonim? So the Rebbe says like this, The Mephoshim explains, what are the two opinions in Sufri? These two opinions, whether it is a Loshan Matnas Chinom or it's a Loshan of Tefillah. So he says like this, Late National Pirish as Veschanan is for Loshan Matnas Chinom, according to the first Pshad, that Veschanan is from the Loshan of Matnas Chinom, is as Gleich Bisev al Gestanen Veschan. Like I said before, I said before that the Rebbe is going to say it, that the Mephoshim says it's as if it would have said, not Veschanan, but Veschanam. With a mem, shlos mem at the end. Rot gebet in the meibish and loses lematnas chinam, which means he just as the meibish. It's not davening; he's asking. Davening is a a different thing. He's asking the meibish to please give me a give me a matanas chinam. And there's the word, but eschanan is like the word chinam. When the father says nit from the lishen lishel tefil, it's not a lotion of davening. But in the word eschanan gufes, you talk a lotion shel tefil bakoshe. Even if it would say clearly with a shlos mem, what do you say? It's a lotion of davening. All it is is a lotion of chinam. So it's not a lotion. In other words, it's not one of the lashenas you use for davening. It's used for asking, but not for davening, not lotion tefillah. It's used when you ask for a favor. 
something that you don't deserve and you're asking for a favor. That's the first pshat. Shein gleit and sveit and on the other hand, the other pshat, as vaschanen is from the asor of the shein and that vaschanen is one of the ten expressions of davening, is vaschanen aloshen from trinu v'tachnun in kanal for medlech. It's a loshen of tefila, it's a way of davening. Tachnun in midad is another loshen of davening, so it's vaschanen loshen of davening. But the first way, it's not a loshen of davening. The second way, it's a loshen, one of the expressions, when you want to say davened, or you're going to need to dab, you can use Lashon Tefillah, you can use Lashon Tchino, so you use Lashon Tchino, so the two Pshat, Pshat, the Fiz Ebet Uskim, so according to this, not that we understand the two Pshatim of the Sifri, comes out as the day of a Medesh, which brings Beide Yonim Tzazamen, so according to the Medesh, that it doesn't make it as two separate Pshatim, but it goes together, is it comes out, that the Medesh holds, as Afal Pia, the word Vashanan, is not Lashon Tchino, nor Lashon Tchinonim, the Medesh holds that the Vashanan is not from the word Tchinom, the Shkanan is the word of Tefillah. It's Moloshen Tachnunim, which is another word for Tefillah. He's over the Teich of Unat Tefillah's Tachnunim. When we use the Loshen Tefillah, and we use the Loshen Vashkanan, which means we use the Loshen Tachnunim as one of the ten. You could have used any other of the ten. You could have used the word Tefillah. When you use this Loshen, which is one of the Loshen Tefillah, as Membeta Matan Shkinam, that contains that you're asking for a Matan Shkinam. So we understand what the... So the first, the Sifri has the two separate Pshotim, and the Medish, we understand now, we see, puts it together. It's a lotion tefillah, but it's a kind of tefillah that you're asking for a matna schina. But you have to understand, Vibala silate and sifri, silate and medish. It's the pale at Meshach, you bet my baby, and a matna schina. Comes out that according to whichever way you learn, Meshach Rabbeinu asked for a matna schina. In other words, he asked not because he felt he deserves it, but he asked for a matna schina. Whether you learn that it's a pshat for itself, he asked for a matna schina. Or you learn that this is a lotion of tefillah, but a lotion of tefillah when you're asking for a matna schina. But still, what is the contents of this argument? Whether we're saying like the sifri, that he used a lotion which is only a lotion of chinam, and it doesn't, it's not one of the lotions of tefillah. Or there are a lotion of tefillah, or he did use a lotion of tefillah. But, nor azal lotion was passed for me better matan schinam, or he used the lotion of tefillah, but a kind of lotion which means that you're asking for a tefillah. The bottom line is the same that Meshur Abeinu asked for a matan schinam. So, what's the big deal of this machlek is whether he used the lotion tefillah, which is a tefillah for a matan schinam, or he didn't use a lotion tefillah. He used the lotion asking for a matan schinam without using the lotion of tefillah. The bottom line is the same. He has the Abish that I don't deserve it, and please let me enter this role. What is basically the difference? The beer and them. So the Rebbe says, I'll explain it like this. When you ask the to, to give you your needs, there is two things. Two nyonim here. Number one, the eifna bakosher. How you ask it? Tachnunim or the tefillah? You could ask the eibishter in the form of tachnunim. Tachnunim means you're begging him. Please, please. I know I don't deserve it, but please do it for me. Or you could ask a claim. I'm claiming it. I deserve it. Like someone, the difference between someone who works and he, then he comes and asks for his salary. He's not begging. Or you could say, you could, I'm going to ask and he's, he's begging. So the way you express yourself could be a lotion of tachnunim, could be a lotion of tfiyah, lotion of begging, which means I don't deserve it, a lotion of claiming. I deserve it and, like, and, and give me what I deserve. That's one thing, how you do it. Second thing is the sibet of the Rebish to Zumal Zambekoshe. What is the reason? Why do you expect the Ebishter should fulfill what you're asking, your request? So it could be two ways. The skumtem, or you ask because I deserve it, or the Mamatan Shkinim, I don't deserve it, I'm still asking. So there is, that's, that's the cause. So there's the way I'm expressing myself. And then what do I have in my mind? What is the reason why I'm asking? So there's only these two ways. So there's a way, the first is two ways in how you ask for it, which lotion you use. And then what do you think? Why you this, why you're asking? Why are you asking? Do you ask because you feel that you deserve it? Or you ask him because you talk don't deserve it, but you're still asking for it. You could ask for a favor, even though you don't deserve it. Okay. And then it explains. Now look like the it explains the Tachan here. Because Hashem created the person, created the world, created the person. So they has to has to give everything a person needs. The post says the Ebesh that has pity on everything that he made and all his creatures. The fact that says certainly if you're a child of Avram Yankev, you're a yid. So you deserve. Means 
when the wants to give an example of a great meal, something special, used like Shleim HaMelech, when he was in his height, when he gave the Suda at a certain time, by the building of the Samikdash, he gave the greatest Suda. So you deserve that. The Gemara says it, if you hire a worker, you really have to give him food, but you have to give him the best meal. And the Gemara uses the lotion, Suda Shleim HaMelech. So, the Ebeshter who created a Yid, created a human being, and then created a certainly a Yid, deserves everything. Ebeshter has to give him. Certainly, if you keep the mitzvah, Posik says, If you follow my chukim, you follow the laws of the Torah, Ebesha says, I'll give you everything you need. So, Ebesha has to give us. That's what we deserve it. So, you could say, So, it comes out like this. Since Ebesha has to give us, everyone deserves it. So, when you daven, how should you daven? Because I deserve it. You made me. You created me. Especially if I'm keeping your mitzvahs. You have to give me. So, this union of davening is that Abish has to give it. And the Rebbe in order 6 comes and says that the word tefillah we know has another meaning besides davening, but also tefillah means connection. You have to have some connection. If I'm connected to you, you have to give it to me. And then he calls a lotion that Gemara says that the Abish there is the woman, the Abish there is the, the craftsman that made me. So he made me, so he has a responsibility to give me. So when you ask the Eibishter, L'Chathchile, you deserve it. So I'll be tater, what is the L'Chathchile approach to davening that you have to, you're able to ask, and you, you could ask that you deserve it. And even though you could ask, if you deserve it, especially you worked for it, you did good deeds, so why should you daven for it? The Eibishter on his own has to give it to you. So I you have to daven if the approach is that every year deserves that they should give him his needs. Is so the Rebbe says the pshat is like this. If you ask for it, maybe they will give you more, and I'll give it to you to save upon him your office in a, in a nice way, in a smiling way. If you're asking if what you ask for, what you deserve, then you deserve whatever you deserve. If you're asking. If you don't ask what you deserve, you just expect the Ebishter to give it to you because he owes it. You'll give you whatever he owes you. But if you're asking in addition to that, even though you deserve it, then the Ebishter might give you more. Might give you better. But besides that, as you do, it's known as Afilo Dos as the Ebishter Git Beter Aschar, that even the Ebishter gives you as a reward because you earned it. He's a snit beif, not the Ebishter is mechuyev dos again. Even that, the Ebishter doesn't have to give. Who says that the Ebishter has to give you this reward? The Ebishter made it. The Ebishter decided that if you, you put on film, I'll give you a reward. So, Be'etzem, you don't deserve it. In other words, you deserve it because the Ebishter decided that you deserve it. The estate, like it says, a posse, it says a posse, a posse can tell him that Ebishter does chesed, he pays a person according to what he does. So, if Kasha, that always, what he asks, see this asks, What's so special? We thank Hashem. You did such a chesed that you paid according. You pay a person according to what he did. Well, obviously, if you did it, you have to pay him. Why is that a special chesed of the Ebishter? So see this answers. This fact that the Ebishter pays you for what you did is a chesed from the Ebishter. It's a chesed of the Ebishter. It's not be'etzem the Ebishter. The Ebishter decided. He told you, if you do this and this, I'll pay you. So sof kol sof, going back in the beginning, it's all, you don't really deserve anything. The Ebesha decided that if you do something, you'll deserve it. So that's why you have to ask. The roof That's why you have to daven to the Ebesha. You have to daven to the Ebesha. You have to ask him for it. and But you can't claim it. In other words, in other words there's two steps here. You could claim it. Because you said that if I do this, you'll give me. And I did it. So, so you have to give me. You claim it. Essentially, you can't claim it because who said that if you do this, you have to get it? The Ebishte. So it's, a, it's something that you have to ask the Ebishte. Norman bet into my mouth and the Bakoship to Matnas Chinam. So, soft for soft, you have to ask him as a Matnas Chinam. You have to ask him to give it to me because it's a Matnas Chinam. Really, I don't deserve it. I, I do deserve it. But I deserve it because you made up that. So, we're saying to the Ebishte. So, really, I don't deserve it all. And since you made it up, I'm asking you. So, if you look going back, you have to down for it as a matnas chinam. Or me chazal zogin, like the chazal taka say, as me zolnit. Taylor zaynat filo b'schutz atzmei. The chazal say you should not 
make the tefillah asking for something because of your own schus. Because even if the Ebishter will fulfill your request because of your good deeds, there's no doesn't mean you should tailor it depended on what you're saying. So Miss Palazina say the Bishus, you should have do it because my schus. Because soft for soft, your schus doesn't mean anything. Because that schus itself is something that the Abish that has to give you. So soft for soft, it is that the Abish that is doing it because he, he wants to do it. So you have to ask the Abish that even though I don't deserve it, but I don't deserve it. So this is what the Rebbe is must be. There's a way to ask for it, and there's the Sibe. So, and based on that, so and the Rebbe explained here. That the Sibe, why you're getting it, is on one hand, even if you deserve it, the Sibe is not really because you deserve it. The Sibe, the reason, the cause is because the Ebesh is giving you a Matna screen. So we're talking now about the Sibe. What is the reason? The reason is always a Matna screen because the Ebesh that gives it to you, even if you deserve it, only because he decided that he wants to make you deserve it. Okay, so let's keep this in mind. This is the difference the way the Sifri says it in the Medish. It's very funny, man. See, base the two ways that we said before. How we connect the two ways were whether Vaschanan is Tfila, but it's a Tfila that you're you that you're davening to get a Matanschinum, or Vaschanan the Chatfila is a Matanschinum, nothing to do with Tfila. That expresses the two ways that we're just talking about now. We'll see in a moment how you ask for a matna schinum. Late medrash, according to the medrash, and we said before that the medrash connects the schanan is a loshent fila, but it's a type of fila that you ask for a matna schinum. So according to the medrash, is veschanan, which is matna schinum, blaze and betayed them eifna bakosha. We said before there is the eifna, how you ask, and what the cause of your asking is. So all it explains is how you ask. Like it says, that a rosh, a poor man, begs. A rich man will speak with chutzpah. Which means, someone who is in a level, in a feeling, in a feeling of beetle. Heipachaz is the opposite of chutzpah. He's like, he davens in the lotion of tachnunim. The way he expresses himself. We're not talking now about what really you can how really you expect to get, but what lotion should you use? So the Medrash says that was Khanan is a lotion technonym. You're asking for a matna schinum. Does haste means like this. A vase has a rod my table. Because we said before, every yid has my table, and every yid deserves it. And you know you have my table. Oh, but dog better by my bishnum to matna schinum. You're still asking by Debish Matna Schinum. Like we said before, no matter how much you deserve it, soft call soft, it's a matna schinum. But the question is, how do you express yourself? So the Medrash says, Vashanan is an expression that you use when you're speaking to the Ebishter, saying, I want a Matna Shinum. When the Farah bin their, their Medrash, Matna Shinum, it's Loshan Tachnunin. The Medrash says that the Matna Shinum that's included in these words is a Loshan of Tachnunin. We're talking about the Rinya for Matna Shinum, Hetzachon, place in Loshan, away from that filler. It's only felt in what expression you use. In other words, we're talking about what is the expression that you're using, not why you expect to get it. What expression do you use? So the Medrash says it's a Loshan Tachnunim. That means it's a Loshan of Mat Naschinam. It's a Loshan of Davening. And when you Daven, even though you know in your mind that you deserve it, but not using the Loshan of Mat Naschinam, the Loshan that you deserve it. You're using a Loshan that you're begging Hashem Mat Naschinam. Hashem can is free. It's free is that in you for Mat Naschinam, not a Loshan philosophy. The way the Sifri says that Mat Naschinam is, the way he says is a separate shot. It's not that you're Vashanan is a lotion of davening, but it's davening asking for a matan skinum. No, it's a chilat matan It's not part of the lotion of davening. It's also what you feel. Erbeta matan In other words, before we said in Medrash, you know you deserve it. So you feel you deserve it. But nevertheless, if you have bitl, you won't you won't express yourself that way. You'll ask Hashem matan skinum. But according to the Sifri, it's not under Tfila. You feel that way. Erbeta matan skinam. But I feel as a company. You feel that you don't deserve it. In other words, even though, you know, we said before, every year deserves, but you could be in a level that you feel that you don't deserve it. In other words, not only because of the etzab, the ebish, even when you deserve it, you don't really deserve it. You actually, when you use the expression, you use an expression that you feel you don't deserve it. Er field as a hot nit 
He has he could feel that you have no schusim. fulfill your quest. You're asking for a You're asking for something for free that you don't deserve. It. You're asking for Debish to do you a favor. So according to the Medrash, it's a lotion you're davening. Bemis, you feel that you deserve it. And nevertheless, it's a lotion that you use as a matan because soft goes soft. When you daven, you know that soft goes soft. No one deserves it. Everything, even if you deserve it, they should gave it. So you use a lotion of matan schinam. But not that you really feel that it's a matan schinam. So it's a regular lotion of tefillah. Now tefillah could be not matan schinam also. You could ask Ebishter to you daven to the Ebishter. So you daven to the Ebishter and you're using a lotion of tefillah and you're using a lotion of matan schinam. But Be'etzim, you feel that you deserve it because the Ebishter said that if you do this, I'll give you. So you have that feeling. But then you can have this, according to the Sefri, we're talking about the Indian of Matan Skinom, is that you take it as because you feel that you don't deserve it. You push it on deserve it. Um, high time, how dare the day in Sefri? That's why in Sefri, the first opinion who holds that Maschanan is a Losh Matan Skinom, that Maschanan is a Losh Matan Skinom. It's not a Losh and Tfila. It's a lot. But mainly, not from the lashon of tefillah. It's not a lashon of tefillah. It's not that you can now see, like you said before. But azab akosha, but the matan shchinim is not with the gather from tefillah melechat tefillah. Because to ask Hashem for matan shchinim is not for tefillah. We said before beetsem, the way tefillah is that you could ask Hashem because you deserve it. So every you deserve it. David created you, and you did get the mitzvah. You deserve it. That's what the real tefillah is. But if you're asking David because you feel you don't deserve it, that's not a lashon tefillah. Because in tefillah you should, you could you, there is the union of you deserve it. The reason why you went down for it because even the deserving comes from the Ebishta because he made it. But be'etzem, you deserve it. Gorgor be'etzem, it's the it's, you don't deserve anything. Ebishta gave you whatever you deserved. Ebishta gave you, but the way you feel, you feel superficially you feel you deserve it. Elamai, if you're you have, you're bittle, you use the lotion of of, of matnas But according to the sefri. We're talking about the person who davens because, and his davening matan schinom is not a chilek of tefillah. Tefillah is that you could ask, but you deserve it. It's because you really feel that you don't deserve it. We're talking here about Meish Rabbeinu. We think Meish Rabbeinu thought he didn't deserve it. Meish Rabbeinu didn't know who he was. Meish Rabbeinu knew. He remembered that he was the one that received the Torah. The mail is Barka Shosei, as I read Grace and Maxim Tavis. How could you say, according to the Sifri, he used the lotion that he feels he doesn't deserve it? So not only it's a lotion of Tfil, of, of, of Tach Chinom, but he really meant Chinom. We mean that Chinom, because he feels he doesn't have Maxim Tavis. I mean, he doesn't have Maxim Tavis. knew who he was. He had great Maxim Tavis. He said, but Anivus for Meshik, when Azay Grace, as I read Gerechna, as in Kumte Fargonik. He was such an honor, so humble, that he felt that he doesn't deserve anything. We know the Pshat and the Posse when it says Ish Meish under me eight Mikolodim Ashal Pnei Adomo. When it says in Posse, Meish was the biggest honor. He was the most humble of more than any other person in the world. And the question, I mean, the question we just asked also: How can Meish be an honor for everybody? He didn't know he was greater. Didn't know he was the one that brought the Torah. He's the one that did all the things. So I see this explains what it means is as need get cooked of them as Meish should give us a grace and might as a cup of Kolodim. In spite of the fact that Meisha knew all his great milers that he had, all the great qualities he had more than any other person, he's a given on the Mikol Odom. He was still a humble guy by every single person. He thought, as does his neat Zayn Muf, he didn't take credit for it. It's not something that he gained, his greatness. He felt everything was given to him by Hashem. The other of it, contrary, Meisha felt that any, any other person would have the same power, the same strength, and the same qualities that he had, but he would have been better for him. So therefore, Meshe Rabbeinu Taka felt that he doesn't deserve anything. Itaka felt so. Not only he expressed himself in such a way. According to the Sufri, he Taka felt that way. And that's what the Sufri means. It's a Loshan Matna. It's not a Loshan Matna Skinam. It means Matna Skinam. He's asking Matna Skinam. And it's not a Loshan Tefillah. Because Tefillah bad means you could ask Hashem because you deserve it. Meisha Rabbeinu didn't ask for deserve it because he felt he thought he didn't deserve it. When those are the time Hashem that's between Loshan Asifri and Loshan Amedik, this explains the difference in certain expressions the way it says in Sifri and as we just said now. In Sifri, we're saying Meisha Rabbeinu Taka asked for a Matnas Chinam. According to the Medrash, he just used the Loshan of Matnas Chinam. But Be'etzim was Mispala. This is part of Tefillah, which Tefillah you could ask for deserving. 
But because of that, we'll see a difference in the Lashenis. In Medrash, is Mudrash, as Ein Lebeide Klum is a Beide. In Medrash, it says the Lashen, that why do you ask for Matnas Chinom? Because no creature could ha have any claim to the Ebeshter. Why? Because by Mebesh means the Aved and the Tefes Mokim. Because by the Ebesh, they were saying like this, the Gabe, the Ebesh, you can ask for a Because whatever you do, you deserve it. Why do you deserve it? Because you did what the Ebesh said. But that's all because the Ebesh made it. But originally by the Ebesh himself, what you do makes no difference. So therefore, when you ask, you ask according to the Medrash, you ask because by the Ebesh, there's nothing. By is by you, you feel that you do deserve it. Because David just said he will pay you for your work. But you realize that Sof calls Sof, as we said before, the Abish there is the one that made that. So you ask Matnaskin, Mashenk the Sifri is Mavoyan Sifri, it says, that Sadiqin could have made it depend on their good Maisim. For they big shim namokum sheet on him, they didn't ask from David, they should give him a Lachinam only Chinam. For those is Matkish Nitvi, my same at Tibis, and the Tibis Makam Maybish. And here we don't see the stress that Lagaba David, whatever you do, makes no difference. Nor the Anivis and Tzadikim, here the stress is that the Tzadikim are so humble that they talk and feel that way. See, Mekzad and Medrash, the only reason why you think it's a Matach Bemis, you, you deserve it. Because looking at it from the Abish's point of view, he, he made it, but without him it wouldn't happen. But in Sifri we're saying, they talk and feel that what they're doing is nothing. So it doesn't say that the people have no comparison. Whatever they do, the Gabba de Abish, means nothing. Here it says, Porsche, that they could, but they don't do that. Because not because by the Abish it's not Tevis Mokim, nor the Anivis from the Tzadikim, it's the humility of the Tzadikim. Azayda Maisim Tevim, Tzayna Bazei Guf in the Tevis Mokim. They themselves feel that I have no Maisim Tevim. I have no good deeds. He says, I bet my Abish and place Matan Schinam, they ask the Abish for, they give it to me for free, not because I deserve it. And that's the difference between the Medrash looks at it and the Sifri. Like them beer, according to this, I did Tzvei Yafan Nevi Tzufashtein, Filas Meisha, Vizchan and Hashem. According to these two ways, as we explained, to understand what Meisha meant when he davened and he said Vizchan and Hashem. Is Eich Musber the Teich and Achilak zwischen the two Perushim and Charasha bringing in the Entra from Nebuch Ravloch? Now we have two ways what the Pshat is in Moshe's asking Hashem. So this will also explain the two ways into learning what Hashem answered. What did Hashem answer him? Hashem said Ravloch. It's enough. What does that mean? So one Pshat that Hashem says that stop asking me why should the Yemro people shouldn't say Harav me kama kosher atal me kama sagrim. People will say. Look how stubborn the master was, and look how much the, the Talmud was begging. So I don't want you to continue. Don't ask me anymore because this is what people will say. And the second shot, what means Rav Loch, it's enough for you. Harbem is a Shomer Loch, Rav Tev at Sofen Loch. Rav Loch, you're asking me to go there to Israel. You should know that there's so much schar given to you, there's so much hidden schar you'll get. Don't worry, you will get a lot of reward. So these two Piroshim. These two answers of the Abish, the, the way we learned the Pshat and the Abish's answer, will fit to what Meshach Rabbeinu was doing when he was asking in the two Pshat in Vizchanan. Late in Pirash, as Meshach Gibbet and Beteris Matas Chinem Amish, according to the Pshat of the Sifri. But he pushed it, asked the Matas Chinem, he said, I don't deserve it. He felt he doesn't deserve it. But the Abish again answered, that fits to the first Pshat in Rashi. But the Ebishter answered, as Meshe Muzufar and Betten, that you must stop asking, they, people shouldn't say that, look how stubborn the Ebishter is, look how, how much you're begging. Why? Because if not for this problem, that we doesn't want it to look that way, since you're asking for Matnas Chinam, so there's no limit how many times you could ask. If he asks for you what you deserve, there's a limit. You could find out that you don't deserve it, or they wish they could give you some answers. That, I, But if you're asking for no reason, just please do it, you could never end. You could ask once, and he says no, you could ask a third time. So the only reason they wish said, why stop asking? Because I don't want people to say this, that you're asking so much and I'm so stubborn. Because you could, if I don't stop you, you could go on and on and on. Why? Because you're asking for a madness. You must feel that you don't deserve it. So you could, if, if you're begging for a favor, you could ask an answer. Just, just please stop. I don't want people to say that you ask so much and I didn't want to give you. Like in Pirish, according to the second shot, that it's a lotion of davening. But the lotion that you're using is a lotion of Matan Skinom. But that filler is the Rebish to Mamalam that the Squish and Mispala, that Bechalat filler comes because you deserve it. 
And the Abishar fulfills your request because you deserve it. You did answer from the Abishar. So the question is, you say you deserve it. You feel you deserve it. You're only using a Loshan Amat Naschina, but really you feel you deserve it. So what did Abishar answer him? That's the second shot. You want to deserve as a reward that you'll go to Eretz Yisrael. There's much more left for you good things. Rav Teif at Sofam, the hidden, a lot of good things. There's Har for that, the Maisim Teivim is Har If you're asking me because you feel that you deserve it, you have a lot of Maisim Teivim, you're using a lotion because you're in bottle, it's a use lotion of Matan Shinam. But really, it's Tfil, and Tfil, we said before, is asking for what you deserve. So Teivim had a good answer for him. If you're asking, you want to get reward for what you deserve, you will get your reward. Okay. But if you learn that it's the asking for Matan Shinam, that wouldn't be an answer. You'll get your reward. But you will get your reward. I'm not asking for reward. I'm asking for, do me a favor. Their the answer was, don't ask me too much because it, it'll sound like you're asking so much and I'm so stubborn, etc. Don't do it. So we see how these two shot him, we see free in the Medrash, fit to the two answers of David. Rebbe said, we still have to understand. What is for the time we saw from the Kluktis Vishnu Sefri and Medrash? What is, after all, the foundation and the reason for this machlekes between the Sefri and the Medrash? Siva Aschanem Mat Naschinem from Tfilas Meishes by Zayin Losh Not Tfilas Gras Medrash. Whether Aschanem when he says Aschanem means Mat Naschinem is only it's one of the it's an expression of Tfilah. But in the Tfilah you use an expression that you're asking Mat Naschinem or the Vayla Rad Bemes Gehalten as in Tum Taku Nit, or he really meant the Mat Naschinem because he really felt that he doesn't deserve it. The father and you can't put in the lotion the So he did not use a lotion for Tfila. Nor like Zbet, but the term Matan Skinum, he only asked as a Matan Skinum, Kedat, like the Sefri says, and he did not use a Tfila because Tfila, you ask to get what you what you deserve. And Mesha didn't. So there's a so what is the bottom line of this Machlekes, whether he meant this and this? There must be some deeper union in this. So the Rebbe says, Vyashlaimer and the beer and them, the Rebbe I can explain it like this. But I'll first bring in, which the Rebbe doesn't ask the kasha, but it's basically a kasha. But how you could, a person could ask a kasha? Why did Meish Rabbeinu re request the chlal that Abishai should give him, should let him in? Rash himself says that Meish Rabbeinu said that now that I conquered, you let Sichon and Neg, and you let me into the land of Sichon and Neg, so I see you already took off the neder. You made a neder, a shvua, not to let me to throw. You did let me in. You let me into part of it to throw. So Mesha thought, put it on nether. So now that means the nether is off. So if the nether is off, why does he have to ask Bechal? So Chal HaShayla. Why did they have to ask? Whichever way we learn, why did he have to ask to be let in? So because he felt that it's over, that the whole thing is over. So Rebbe says, no, no. If Mesha Rabbein is nik, given nik zedik zedik shli konus lada. There was a zedik decree, he shouldn't go to Eretz Yisrael. From dos was Mesha at Gerechem. Because this that Mesha thought, that since I already conquered the land of Sichem Veg, Shema Hutter and Neder, maybe the Neder already was nullified. He does not negate the Mabish and Shvua. Means like this, he thought that the Shvua, the oath, the, the vow that the Abish made, as Mesh is only Tarangin in their throw, that Mesh shouldn't go in. Was of them concerning the Shvua, and that is an orthodox, you could say, yes, so the dem was a nether, shoot them, exhaust it, who they're cool, it's what we're going to show. Since a nether that you're mate, you nullify part of it, the whole nether is off. So here, part of it, they wish to nullify it, but I let him into part of it already in Sikh of Egg. So here, Meshur, I thought that nether is off. Oh, but does not need to rob the Edsem Xayre, the Enish is on the Tangan Nether's roll, but Meshur didn't stood. They wish to still might not let him. They wish to said, I'm going to punish you for what you did, not to let the Nether's roll. Might made a decree, but not a nether. So, this is what Mesha thought. That's why Mesha asked the Abishta to let him in. I know that the nether probably is off. So it's no forget about the nether. So you didn't make a nether. So the nether is not holding you back. But you still might not let me in because, not because of the shvur, because you don't want you want to punish me. But the fire at Ash knows them. Therefore, he, after that, we are Shemut and after he thought that the nether is off, maybe the nether is off. He still was mispalo given like lishbor charov tsenem and dos was nikas exeder. He would dab him to take away the exeder. There's still exeder, not al sneder, but exeder. That's why he dab. Okay. Well, because then, now that we say this is the pshat, Yashlema said the Rebbe asked, "What is the bottom line? The machlekes between the two, the sifri and the medrash?" Now we'll understand. You could say I deplukt the svishin of sifri and medrash that this argument the svishin and medrash is totally in the tzvei deis depends on two other opinions. There's a machlekes it fila helped eich lach exadina the dafke kedim zadina. There's a machlekes in Gemara when a person in Gemara Rosh Hashanah 
When you dab into the Ebesh, the Ebesh should give you what you need. So one opinion says that that only works before the Gzadi, before the Ebesh finally finalized the din about you. Before he finalized, even though really he could he could give you the din to the negative, you could dab and they could take off the, 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 he won't give it to you. But if it already is exact din, you can't, your davening won't help. Another opinion says no, that even l'achar exact din, tefillah could help. And that's the machlekish. The medrash halt with the day as tefillah helps, the l'achar exact din. The medrash holds like the opinion that tefillah helps even after the exact din. And the farat meshem is pal lagim and akadish boruch mitainu from the asolish and shet tefillah. If tefillah helps after the exact din, so now there was exact din already here, that you can't go and take the throw. He's still daven. So the medrash says, that he davened like a regular tefillah. He says that Waschanan is a nefnilishenishel tefillah. So he davened, why? Because even though there was a gzardin, you could daven after gzardin also. Now for Zay Gufa, the Ritik Lim Loshin Tachnunin Dak, amongst the Loshin of tefillah, he picked the one that is Tachnunin begging, using the concept of a matna schinum. But really, he used the union of tefillah. Because the matter shows, as the Rebbe explained, that he used the union of tefillah, but the, which Loshin of tefillah did he use, which contains Matna Schinam, because it, it had bitl, you could use that lotion. Shenga de Sefri, the Peter Shal of Hal de Sefri, in the first opinion, holds that it wasn't filler. It was a completely different thing. He was asking for a Matna Schinam. So he holds with the day as filler health, nor Kate and Zardin. holds like the opinion that davening, regular davening, only help before the Zardin. The Bela Bol don't need to hold for the lotion shall filler. So here, if you say a regular lotion shall filler, wouldn't help because you can't daven after Zardin. So the whole thing was asking as a matna schinam, which has nothing to do with with, with tefillah. It's not part of tefillah, and it's deep. so we want to know what is the basis that you saw of the machlekes. So now we have that this is dependent on the machlekes that we have in the Gemara Rosh Hashanah. The Shleimet the Rebbe says now as al derech zeh zeh the asbor in the machlekes which in Babylon Yerushalmi. These two things that we said before could be the explanation in a certain argument between Babylon and Yerushalmi in which in in my Mara Mishnah. There is a mission in Brochus that says, as a tefillah for Yishim or Beresh, a tale of Yishim, a zohar a tefillah shof, that if a woman is pregnant and you daven, please Hashem, make it a zohar, it should be a male, is a tefillah shof. It's a false tefillah. Why is it false tefillah? It's a fact already. It's already done, whatever it is, it is. And the Gemara explains, late in Babli, in Babli, the Gemara explains, read the mission, that when it says in Babli, it says in Mishnah, I mean, that you cannot daven for that. It's talking right after the first 40 days. Certainly later, but even right in the beginning, after the first 40 days of pregnancy. When the Svetch and Nikvet Suras of that, because in the first 40 days, it's established what the child will be. So as soon as 40 days are up, you can't daven already. It's still a show. It's already known what it's going to be. Certainly, it can't be after 40 months later. The Mishnah is talking, when can't you daven? Only when she's giving birth. Sitting at the Mish, and the Mishbar means she's sitting on the birth table, giving birth. Only then. But before that, help the Tefillah. Tefillah works to even make a change. Even if it was established later where the child is, you could still daven to make a change. But when she's giving birth, already it's too late. Or like Nochad Man Domer is another opinion in Yerushalmi. As Afa Yeshevus Alam Mashper Yochel Ishtanis. Even when she's giving birth, it could change at the spot. So there's a machlekes here. So the Rebbe says this machlekes could be connected to what the machlekes before. Mitzad Babli, the Sefer Nalim and Talmud Babli is Baderech Mata Lamaila. Babli, the way we learn everything in Babli is Mata Lamaila. It's down here. But if down here, why? Why is it called Mata? There's Mamaila Mata with something that's given from Hashem down. And then something that comes, we do down here. In Babli, there's a lot of questions, questions back in Shaklavatari discussions. A person has to work hard, has to toil in trying to come to a conclusion. So the Iker of Babli is the way people came to a conclusion. About it's all based on the rules that they gave. They didn't make up their own conclusions. But they had to work hard. So it came as a result of working down here. So since Bavli is Mamata Lamailo, he said that Inyan Atfilo Obgim Osnet Gidera Agbolos Amespalo. So Inyan Atfilo is also dependent and it's measured according to the Davener. See, in the Davening, there's two things there's the Davener and to whom you Daven. According to Bavli, everything depends on Lamata. So that it depends on the Davener. The Baldas Al Piteve can der Vladen Nishtanaven, Nochaboyim, since naturally the child cannot change after 40 days to a different, different gender. 
mean, the kevel is zocha from a female to a zocha, how does it fill a shof? So the Bavli says, after 40 days, you can't daven. It's a false davening. And also there, the Azbara in them, Tirish of Bavli Shem, this also explains, when the Gemara there asks Akasha, and they get a dino. For us, by dino, at yoga health, not fila. No harboy me. By dino, we find the Gemara says there that she was pregnant with dino. Really, it says she was pregnant with a male. But she, Davin today, she changed to a female. Because she said to herself, I know that Yaakov is supposed to have 12 Shvotim. I had six. The two maids had four each or ten. So there's two left. If I have another boy, that means there'll only be one left. So my sister will be even less than the maids. So she davened and they changed it from a boy to a girl. So Rochel could have two boys. And Yimor asks, how could you say you can't daven? And Yimor answers, I thought this is going to my sanism. You can't bring a rife in there because there was a special miracle. What is the meaning of that answer? So the, so the Rebbe explains, the Baal does Leia going to Mulomedes Benissim. Leia was a holy person. She was used to Nisim. Nisim almost miracles became natural to her. The Rebbe is by ear, cannot feel it. She's on the pills and in Shalness. By her and her level, since it can't change the nature, but this is nature. Miracles are nature for her. That's why the tefillah could help. So it all fits that Bam is the tefillah goes according to the mispalo. By her, she was a mispalo that this was nature. But the Yabavli goes according to the That's why a regular person, not Dino, after 40 days, well, naturally you can't change. You can't happen because it goes according to the limitations of Lamata. Hashem, it's a Talmud Yerushalmi, but going from Yerushalmi, it doesn't come so much from the people's work. Yerushalmi is more like Dinim said, the way they wish to give it. So it's all Melmaila Lamato. So even in the Tfila, it's not limited to what the person is. It could be an opinion in Yerushalmi that even if they were giving birth already, it could change. Because I'm sad the Abish that it could change. I naturally it can't change. Natural is negated the person. So it fits to what we said before. We said before that there are two ways, whether you look the way Mesa the person and the way the person looks at it, and then you look the way it's Mumaila, and as we explained before. And these are the two ways from Babylon and Ashalmi in this Tfila. Whether Tfila looks at it the way it's Milmailo, because in one opinion it looks the way it's Mumailo, as we said before. And one is it looks Mesadalmata. The way you see the matnas kinam, not to repeat again the whole thing. So here we see the same concept in the two opinions in Babylon Yerushalmi. The beer in them al derech chasidus. Explain this also in the derech chasidus. Al derech is mavayin lukut the Torah. Al derech explains lukut the Torah. The minyan for name was chanan la matnas kinam. Explain when it says that the word was chanan means matnas kinam, as Rashi says, and it says in Sifri. As derech as dur knisos elores and Al Terb explains it like this that when by going into Eretz Yisrael, Meishah wanted to go to Eretz Yisrael because he felt that by him going to Eretz Yisrael, that Meishah will tuftem by Yidden zol zameir hanazam adrege v'sis hechef from kenet zukum matziru chavedes and nevroim. He wanted to pale by Yidden that should be they should be able they should reach such a level that through our work down here we're not able to reach it. Losh nachsides. Sometimes Sarusa de Leila means the thing that Isarusa means awakening, Leila means above. Sarusa de Latata means awakening and awakening down here. Now, many times the Isaira de Smilmaila, what Abishta gives the Maila, comes as a result of Isarusa de Latata. We do certain things down here, that causes a Maila. But then there are certain higher levels that our Aveda will not cause anything a mile. Our weight is not strong enough to cause the mile certain high levels to, to be nimshek. That's called the sarusa de la ila that doesn't come as a result of a sarusa de la tata. And that's a much higher madrege. So Meish Rabbeinu, if he would go into Eretz Yisrael, he would pale that by the Eden there should be such a high spiritual madrege, the sarusa de la ila, which your Aveda can't reach. When Dose de Alosh Matnas Chinas, Alter Rebbe explains when he davened and he asked for a Matnas Chinam, what does chinna mean? Chinna b'le mitzvah. It's lost in Russia someplace. There it means a negative thing, but the word chinna means without mitzvahs. What does it mean? Amadrege vases lamay 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 chinna sa mitzvahs. He wanted to go in, that the Eden should be able to reach a level higher than mitzvahs. If it's a sarusa de leila that comes as a result of a sarusa de latata, that means it's because of mitzvahs. You do mitzvahs, you do things down here, then you get things mamayla. A sarusa de leila, which is higher than a sarusa de latata, it doesn't depend on mitzvahs. That's what he meant, matnas chinom, which means higher than mitzvahs. 
That's what Meshur Rabbeinu meant al Pesidus when he wanted to go into this role, and he used the Loshim Meschanon, Loshim Mat Naschino. But he says, Vashtandik, Svaras Asfri. Now we understand the Svara of the Sifri. As Leighton Pirish, Veschan, and Mat Naschino, it says, Nit from the Asar of Lashen, it shall fill it. Based on what we said before, that according to the Sifri, if you hold it a Loshim of Mat Naschino, it's not a Loshim Tfilo. According to the Medrash, it's a Loshim Tfilo, which is a Loshim that uses that follows the Inyan of Mat Naschino. But according to the, Med, the Sifri, it's an Inyan that has nothing to do with Tfilo. It's not a lotion. It's not a Now we'll understand why. The whole union that Tfile is a Sarusa de Latata. We have to the Abish there. And that brings that the Abish should give us certain things. So the whole concept of Tfile is a Sarusa de Latata, something of Lamata. In order to pale by the Abish there, to cause the Abish to give in to him that he should be able to cross the yard and go into his throne. Which would have caused by Yidden. That as Meshur Rabbein wanted, according to the Alter Rebbe, there should be Sarusa, a Sarusa delay of its own. So since that's what he wanted, so when he asked for it, it had to be similar to it. You ask something, so you ask in a similar way that what you want to ask for. So he should he wanted to bet and to ask. Not in the lotion shall fill, not the lotion shall fill up, because if it use the lotion of filler, it's a Sarusa de Latate. But he was trying to ask to get something that's beyond the Sarusa de Latate. That's why yes, for a matnas kino mamesh, a real matnas kino man, not the lotion shall fill him. But he's in ganz nit verbunden mit schuyes, which is not connected to schuyes. Tfil is connected to schuyes. El kanal baruch said before, everyone has a schuyes, but tfil is mumato, and you're telling David, I have schuyesim, so I am asking you. But he wanted to pay something that's higher than that, and therefore, the sefri says he asked the lotion it was chanan, which is not a lotion shall fill at all. It's only matnas kino. Afal pikein hal de medesh azeich vaschanan. But that's the Sefri, but the Medrash doesn't hold like that. The Medrash holds that even Vaschanan, which means Matnas Chinam, is Eich from the Asar of Lashen Shalt Filo. It's also from the Ten Lashen Shalt Filo. Now, what's the Pshat? Kura Kordon Al Persitis, the Sefri seems right that he's not using Tfilo because he's trying to get the Sarosa de Leila with not the Sarosa de Latata. So, why would he use Lashen Tfilo? So, why does the Medrash hold that even the Matnas Chinam is also part of the Lashen Shalt Filo? So, the Rebbe explains the Vetsin das Fashtem, Leitin Bira, Semach Tzedek, and from my man and Al Shabukut Tater. Based on what the Semach Tzedek explains, on that Maimer of the, of the Al Tereb and Lukut Tater. In Lukut Tater, it's Mavoy Lukut Tater, it says, Adi Bakosha and Al Formation, as the Zaymchin and Sarusa de Leila, Shalomayim, says Sarusa de Tater, that Formation requested that there should be Sarusa de Leila higher than Sarusa de Tater. What is that in and of his in and Tater? In other words, when you learn Tere, when you have the Tere, Tere brings it down from such a high level of Ebeshter, the level of Anechi. But the Tere started with the word Anechi. And Anechi, it says, is a level beyond anything. Havaya, Likim, all the names are certain descriptions. Anechi is Misha Anechi. It's somebody that's higher than you, which is Lamaila, Maila, Misarusa, Latata. To reach Anechi, you can't. Lower levels of godliness you could reach through your Aveda, but not that. Sikum derach maton, and that day b'shig is maton, and that it's a machzedek. That's what Al Rebbe says is when Al Rebbe says that he was trying to get an adarge of isarusa de leila, which he can't reach through isarusa de latata. That meant to get the teira. Frag that's a machzedek. Some say as a kasha. E bazei, if so, far vos zok man as Meishar Rabbi not need pale when al date filos. Is how do we say that Meishar did not accomplish through his davening? We have the Torah. We have the Torah. What do you mean didn't accomplish? But during Chibet, we have Torah, and Torah is a level which is the Sarusa of the Leila higher than Sarusa and we have it. So what Meisha wanted happened. So what do we mean that Meisha did not accomplish? We have Torah, and Torah is a Sarusa of the Leila higher than Sarusa of the So he did accomplish. And this Mavaya that some Masadik answers it. And because this Meisha is given, Meisha didn't ask that you should get in of Torah the Sarusa of the Leila on its own. He wanted that the Hamshocha shall date Tere was kumba derech matonim the Sarusa de Leila canal that the Hamshocha that we get to Tere and which we have, which is the Sarusa de Leila on its own, and he get it in the form of matone, so pales in lamata in veld. He wanted that that level should have an effect on this world down here, and the Rebbe in the order sixty says, for instance, there are certain times we see that Tere brings lamata al derech herodes kshom derashbi when they came to Rebbe Shimon Yechoy it says in Zayir say that there is no rain. So he was Mamshich reigned through Torah. It says the difference in him and, and uh, other Tanoim that the Nochemish Gam was pale through davening. But the Rashbi said the Torah and the Posik, and that brought rain. So we see Torah could bring Amshoch Alamato. That's what Mesha wanted. 
But those said that usually the minion from Tfilah got Teira. Usually that's the mile of Tfilah that Teira doesn't have. Teira to two beaker Lamaila. In El Masalin, Teira talk accomplishes and you reach high Madrigas, but it stays Lamaila. I would do Tfilah to Tmanuf Lashanas and Nevroi. In Tfilah, the whole point of Tfilah that you accomplish, it changes things down here, make Mesha Hain. As they are, it gets changed. For instance, someone is sick, you daven, she is rapa achela. The sick person should get cured. Yeh rad geshem, rain should come, and tefillah helps. So tefillah's quality is that it brings things down memayla lamata. Balda's tefillah kum bederech memata lamayla. Since tefillah comes from down here, pale tzi in the mata vumis mispala. So when you accomplish with tefillah, the day which it gives you, you accomplish it that it comes down here because your whole concept of tefillah is something that you do down here and you bring down that matrege down here. But may should give all tufto, but may should want it. He wanted that Shochel Mata should not be dafka through Tefillah. He wanted that things should come down through Torah. So when the Alter Rebbe, so the Tzemetzel explains what the Alter Rebbe says that he wanted to pale that it should be Sarusa Dolayla without the Sarusa, a very high Madrege, and that should be Torah. Didn't mean it should be Torah. Torah we have, but that should also pale a Mata similar to Rashbi, and that Taki didn't pale because Rashbi Taki did it, but not everybody could do that. It's not normal. Tvila does it, but not Tera. So that's what the Medrash says, that even when Mesha asks for Matnas Chinam, he's given a Loshen Shal Tvila. He used Loshen Shal Tvila. And we asked the Kalsha, if he, according to the Altab, he wanted to pale Sarusa the Leila with other Sarusa Latata, why would it be a Loshen Shal Tvila? So he said, now we know, while Mesha had given home the Mkhibir from Beit Amailas, Mesha wanted both. Even the Ramshokha that he's looking for is Ramshokha of Matnas Chinum from a Madrege, which is a Sarusa de Leila, not dependent on the Sarusa de Latate. So, but a Rob Kuma Bisla Mata, Mata in the Mortfin Tfilah should come down here in the place where you use usually for Tfilah down here. And the Ribri is Eichens and Tfilah given by the Zach. And that's why, since that's what he wanted, the combination of both. So, as we said before, when you dump for something, you have to have whatever you're looking for. So, he, since he wanted the combination of both, his tefillah was a combination of both. So he's going to Allah and Shalt tefillah. It was Allah and tefillah, which means down here. And I'm sure it comes down here. But asking for a level, which is Matnas Chinam. So here we have the difference between the Medrash and the Sifri. The Sifri stresses that he asked for Matnas Chinam because he wanted his Sarusa de Lulu. And the Medrash says, but he also used the Allah and Shalt tefillah. This is also Allah and Shalt tefillah because he wanted to come down like tefillah. Alpha began that Mesha's need pilgrimage philosophy. But nevertheless, Mesha wanted it, but he didn't accomplish it. But the Tachlas Akavani is that after all, the purpose of everything is as Al Zakumadur Chaveda. He wants Mesha wanted that should be the Sarusa de Leila itself should come down here. But it's the Sarusa de Leila, not through Sarusa de Latata. So it's not through Aveda. So he wanted there should be the great Madrega that's very high beyond Aveda should even come down here. That doesn't work. Everything has to come down to Rav Eitav. The far chotchas and sadem was Meishes mitarayin in Eitz and therefore, even though that because Meishes did not enter Eitz Yisrael, is the knisa leoras given to Yeshua, so it, they went through Yeshua. Pnei Levone, Meishes says the face of Meishes like the sun, that the face of the Yeshua is like the Levone. The difference is the sun doesn't have changes; it's always the same. But the Levone yesh b'shinuim has changes. So changes means that they were in Eitz Yisrael, then they could change the golos. We may look again the noch vender in the golos. It could have been the goalless. Nitvias will give any big snisa will give all the mesh. Not like it would have been had Mesha gone into this role. But then what has given the gula and it would have been the eternal gula. And that would have been like the sun. The baldas will need given up hanging away the samata. Why would the taki be forever? I sometimes the yin don't behave. Because if Mesha would have gone in, the main thing would have been Lamailo. It's a Rusa Delayla beyond the Sarusa Tata. So we it wouldn't matter what we do down here. Aveda Samata, the Aveda we do doesn't care. Doesn't matter. So it would have been forever. But that's not what Abishta wanted. Abishta wanted everything should be elevated. That's why it went through Yeshua. And Yeshua, there could be changes. Because it does depend on the Sarus of the Latate. He said, Dafke by Yeshua going in and not having Mesha go in. We have the Maila of we do the Maisei de Chatik And it says, the Abishta desires our behavior, our Maisei. But his mom should not have her, that means even a higher. Head. He said before, the Matnas Kinnam is the Eir Shalala, Sarusa de Leila, Haile Sarusa Latate. Then there's an Eir that's even higher than that. And that comes soft because of the Raveda. Thus, with this Galaber, Lamato, this will be revealed down here, Begula, Mitis Vashlema, in the future true and complete Gula, Yuk Mashiach Zekenu, Bimheiro, Bimheiro, Mamash.